Hi, in vivo. My name is Samita Valmkanda, and I'm a freshman at the University of Maryland, currently studying nutritional sciences. My two co-authors are Ruben Arshnapoli, a sophomore at the University of Virginia, studying biological sciences, and Dr. Pooja Tabrolu at Will Cornell Medicine, Departments of Medicine and Global Health. Together, we study the association of environmental temperature with type 2 diabetes prevalence. We focus specifically on Pacific Island nations because they have some of the highest prevalence of type 2 diabetes in the world. High caloric intake and a lack of physical activity are traditional risk factors for type 2 diabetes, yet they have caloric intake levels and physical activity levels similar to that of the global average. Which is confusing because according to the World Population Review, in a list of the top 10 countries with the highest diabetes prevalence in 2021, a staggering 80% of them, or 8 out of 10 of these countries, are also Pacific Island nations. Therefore, these traditional factors might not completely explain the significant burden of type 2 diabetes in these countries. However, increased environmental temperatures are a growing concern and may be associated with type 2 diabetes. Why do we think this? In another list from the World Population Review of the top 10 hottest countries in the world, 4 out of 10 of these, or 40% of them, are also Pacific Island nations. To test our theory, we conducted a worldwide ecological study of 52 island nations. And to address possible confounders, we found data on obesity from the World Health Organization, caloric intake from the Food and Agricultural Organization, and gross domestic product, or GDP, from the World Bank between the years 2016 and 2020. Pearson's correlation and multivariate linear regression were also used to determine the association between type 2 diabetes and other variables. And, those, and some of those other variables are listed here, such as carb intake, average caloric intake, average protein intake, GDP per capita, and cereal and grains per kilocalorie per day. But, as shown on the screen, the significance between the, the relationship between diabetes and these factors is almost negligible. However, a very strong positive correlation of 0.411 was observed between diabetes prevalence and average island temperature. And this relationship continued to remain significant even after we adjusted for possible confounders such as GDP and population. So what could this mean? Warmer temperature may contribute to type 2 diabetes risk independent of traditional risk factors, and brown fat may be a potential explanation for our findings. Further exploration of these mechanisms of this association, such as the impact of temperature on brown and white body fat, should be prioritized. So what is brown fat? Brown fat plays a vital role against diabetes. When exposed to the cold, brown fat removes excess branch chain amino acids, or BCAAs, and utilizes them for heat production. And given that four of the world's hottest countries are in the southern Pacific, the population does not receive nearly enough cold exposure to activate brown fat production. Global warming might also play a vital part in the ever-rising prevalence of diabetes in these island nations. And as the con temperature continues to go up, brown fat pr production will go down and possibly cease to occur at all. Fiji, a Pacific island famous for its tourist attractions like its beautiful islands and blue lagoons, had the highest diabetes mortality rate compared to any other country in 2018, with 188 deaths per 100,000 people. Thus, we believe it's important for the population in these countries, as, as well as the world, to understand the risks surrounding temperature and diabetes. Thank you.